If you've ever had any success betting in the NFL, you're probably well aware that betting on this week's games based on last week's results can be a disaster. I think that same logic might apply here in the NCAA tournament. We're going to look at a Sweet 16 matchup between the Gonzaga Bulldogs and the Purdue Boilermakers. Purdue looked like world beaters last week. Uh, they shot 56% from the field, 48% from beyond the arc. They scored a record 106 points against Utah State. Can Purdue do it again? Well, we're going to talk about it, but before we do, let me tell you about a promo we have available at both Wager Talk and SportsMemo.com. Using the promo code JS3Day, as you can see below, that'll get you three days, all access, all sports, with myself, and I'm the number one overall handicapper the last 365 days at Sports Memo, number one with NBA, number one with NHL. The NBA playoffs are right around the corner. The last five years in the NBA playoffs, 134 and 87, that's 61% for a profit of 36 dimes. So no better time than right now to stop by Sports Memo, take advantage of that promo code and get a three-day package for only 29 bucks. Let's talk about Gonzaga and Purdue in the Sweet 16. Purdue opened at about four and they've been bet up to five and a half. And the total is sitting at 154 and a half. And I think those numbers are influenced by last week's results. Uh, I mentioned the shooting percentages for Purdue, scoring a record 106 points. Everything went perfectly for Purdue last week. And I will mention that that game was in Indianapolis. The home crowd was behind them. Uh, now they go to Detroit, Michigan. They're playing at Little Caesars Arena, the home of the Detroit Pistons. It's not going to be the same atmosphere as it was in Indianapolis. And they're playing a Gonzaga team that they've played already once this season. Uh, they won that game by double digits, but the score was 73 to 63. Zach Eady scored 25 points. He was 9 of 10 from the free throw line. He had 14 rebounds. Um, Purdue was just 4 of 17 from beyond the arc, though. That's 23.5%. I expect those uh, numbers for Purdue to some, show some regression to the mean. Uh, they, they went off last week. I think Gonzaga will have a better game plan than Utah State did. Utah State got into foul trouble early, and things just spiraled out of control for them. I expect Gonzaga to come to play, at least in the first half, hang around and prevent Purdue from running up a score like they did last week. So my, my focus here is going to be on the total. I'm going to look at the uh, under 154 and a half in this game. And, and I'll also mention that uh, Gonzaga has gone under in four of their last five as an underdog. And when it comes to Purdue, I do lean Purdue in this, this game. I, I, I'm not going to be on it because of the line movement. Uh, I would have liked it at the opening line. But I do find it odd that Purdue has this history of being upset in the uh, NCAA tournament, as does Tennessee. And uh, odds makers aren't, aren't deterred by uh, Purdue's history of failure in the tournament, but they, they don't seem to be quite as confident in the Vols. And uh, the Vols had a bit of a stinker in their last game. Don't, see, don't be surprised if Purdue has a bit of a stinker offensively in this game. So we're taking the under 154 and a half. If you like this video, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, you hit me up in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Good luck. We'll see you again tomorrow.